So I'm Bill Hahn. I'm at the Data and Fiber Cancer Institute and the Broad Institute of Harvard and MIT. And I'm Lou Stout. I'm the director of the Center for Cancer Genomics at the National Cancer Institute. This conference will be one amazing talk after another that will uh, show what has been learned by genome-wide screens one way or the other uh, using the technology to inactivate genes or sometimes activate genes and looking for cancer phenotypes. Well, I think the other reason that people are excited about the area is that we have proof of concept now that these um, targets that are found by these methodologies can lead to targets that can be used in the clinic and um, it opens up new avenues for thinking about uh, therapeutically treating many different types of cancers. And using these uh, genetic tools we can understand the, uh, the dependencies of the cancer cells on multiple pathways and then give us some ideas of combination therapies that could be tried. The technology in this space is evolving um, at a breakneck speed. So um, between now and the time this conference comes up, um, there'll be breakthrough technologies that will be presented probably for the first time. And then the use of those technologies to really understand the wiring of the cancer cell, uh, I think is gonna be very exciting. Well, I think there are a couple different ways that people benefit. One is, it's a, a focus conference in depth. There's plenty of time for discussion. People get to really see what the advances are, but also what are the controversies? What are people um, unsure about at this point in time? The other is that the format of this is that it allows people to have um, casual time to interact with many people in the field. And it's great to um, meet people, to discuss your ideas, but also network um, as, as people think about the next phases of their careers. And, and also, as Bill mentioned earlier about the breakneck speed of this and the fact that you want to hear about the new technologies, the new spins on uh, the CRISPR-Cas9 and other systems uh, before they're even published. I think that would offer a lot of learning for, for trainees to come to this meeting, hear about these early advances, sort of have a one-stop shopping for all the sort of toys in the toolbox that they might use in their own research. To my knowledge, this is the um, one venue for this kind of research of functional genomic screening in cancer research. So I think that there's a very healthy and, and rather increasing community of scientists doing this. So I think this conference funded by the AECR performs a very important role in cancer research at this moment. It's a really exciting area of science. We really anticipate that this will be a place where people will have the time to spend to discuss the controversies in the field, the advances in the field, um, what people would like to see in the future. The past meetings have been extremely well attended and, and people have come out with a lot of energy and ideas as well as collaborations and I expect that this is going to be exactly the same.